Uh, I was actually involved in a version in the late 80s that John McTiernan was going to direct starring Tom Cruise. But Carter had to wait for, I think, the right time, the right technology, and most importantly, the right storyteller to bring it to the screen. Andrew Stanton, uh, the director I made Wally with, was uh, the key story mind behind a lot of Pixar's films, the uh, Toy Story films, A Bug's Life, Monsters, Inc., Finding Nemo, and uh, I think one of the uh, great storytellers of our time. He's certainly great to work with as well. When we were working on Wally, we started talking about what our next project might be, and Andrew remembered how the Carter books had inspired his imagination as a kid. Uh, we, we all wanted to see this movie made. As I said, there were numerous attempts to bring it to the screen, and every time it didn't happen, uh, we were disappointed by it. So we're glad to, if for no other reason than to get it on the screen, to, to have the opportunity to make it for Disney. The Carter series, as I mentioned, is comprised of 11 books. They were uh, serial books and in many ways were kind of precursor to modern comic books. And I think in a sense they were, they were kind of the Harry Potter books of their time. Um, and there were some things about them. Uh, they, in some regards, they, they were kind of oriented towards uh, young male readers at the time. But there were things about them in the, the narrative and the characters and the descriptions that just kind of stuck with you. There was this, this central idea of a, a friendship between an Earthman and a Martian. Uh, there was a story of a boy and his dog. You'll see a little bit of that in some of the clips I'm going to show you. And there was a romance between an Earthman and the most beautiful woman on Mars, all of which are things that captured the imagination of 13-year-old boys. Uh, Andrew has um, written a lot of material, but he's uh, typically worked with a story team at Pixar and other places. And he always works best when he's working with some other uh, story creatives or writers. And um, uh, so we were looking for people for him to work with on this project as we kicked it off. And we met over time a number of other covert fans of the book, including those who would uh, eventually become our writers. Um, the first was Mark Andrews. Uh, Mark Andrews is, uh, was head of story on The Incredibles, head of story on Iron Giant, head of story on Ratatouille. Uh, it's a, it's a, a writing storyboarding role that we have in animation. And uh, he was, he's actually directing Brave, which is uh, Pixar's summer release next year. Uh, worked as the second unit director as well on the film. And Michael Chabon, the Pulitzer Prize winning uh, writer who, uh, in addition to some of the screenplays you see there, um, wrote Cavalier and Clay and many, many other novels. So to prove uh, that once they all met, to prove their uh, worthiness to work on the projects, they all dug up their childhood drawings of John Carter. As you can see, Mark actually was a really good artist. The other guys are a little sketchier, but, uh, but they all brought their talents to bear on, on this project.